The light mist that hangs over Boyale town is a sign of the coming heat. Boyale is very hot and dusty. By midday, the temperature will have reached 30 degrees. Nestled on the Kampala Gulu Highway, Boyale, with its population of 100,000 people, is the most populated town council in the country. Originally dominated by the Chope or Palwo tribe, whose origins are in Kiriandongo district, Boyale is now home to over 85 tribes. The proximity of Kiriandongo refugee settlement means that a number of foreigners have businesses in the town as well. And business is booming in almost every sector of trade. Jamila Atugonza, who is from Hoima district, made her fortune a few years ago in a roadside restaurant. When she opened her doors to the public in 2009, she had only 5,000 shillings in her pocket. She says produce, restaurants, transport, lodges and bars are the most successful businesses here. Lawrence Saddam Oto, a land and business owner and farmer, was one of the eight men who started this town in 1971. Edward Biakagaba Oyengo, the LC3 chairperson, whose father was a pioneer in this town, was the local council chairman from 1986 to 2010. I have a building opposite Petro Uganda. I have a building where the Tipper stage is, Oyengo Street. Okay. I have a building, uh, Edward Street. The town's biggest challenge is lack of a stable power supply. When you go far, you find there's no electricity and people go where there are services. You find people want to put up maize mills, but there's no what? There's no electricity there. So they, they, we find them all, all of them concentrating in one area, which brings congestion on the highway. The traders say the security situation is good when compared to other parts of the country. <laughs> We are getting people who are coming from far away. Now they have chased people from Kampala, all of them they are coming to Boyale. They are chasing them in Igulu. They are cutting people at night here, you are saying. The highway is the only tarmac road here. The rest are dirt roads, and like any other highly populated town, waste management is a problem. Business has been good over the years, that now the 76-year-old Otto only drives to town to collect money from his tenants. He lives on a 100-acre piece of land with four wives, 25 children, and numerous grandchildren. His youngest wife is 30 years old. He and his wives live in the same house. <laughs> Back in the town center, Atugonza has some advice for women who want to make money in Bweale. Mm 
ekibale echange ngo omuchala ne ekibale nge kyo mwami ah ne msala onkole chimu boyale has risen to become a beacon to anyone refugee or ugandan who knows that the die determining their fate has been cast and are now willing to throw in their lot with lady luck Gillian Nantume, NTV in Boyale Town.